It's been a deadly day on our roadways. Police say a driver going the wrong way on Interstate 435 killed a woman and a young girl. It was the second wrong way crash of the morning. Sloan Heller is live at Interstate 435 and 67th Street with more on this. What a tragedy, Sloan. I know. Good morning, Curtis. Uh, police are still not confirming whether or not uh, these two people were related, but we know that the woman uh, was the driver and then there was a young girl who was the passenger. Those were the two people that were killed immediately just on impact in this head-on collision. Uh, it's really just kind of a chilling scene to imagine. Police say a man was driving a white Mercury Mountaineer. He was going south on the northbound side of I-435 right near Blue Parkway. Uh, this was about 8.30 this morning. He came around a curve, if you can just imagine. Uh, so the, the other driver just had no time to see what was going on. And that is when he slammed into a black Chevy Impala. And that was carrying this woman and this little girl again, both killed on impact. Now, police say the driver of the Mercury was hurt, but he is expected to be okay. They say considering both were driving highway speeds, probably 65 miles at least, just no time to react. We haven't at this point found even any skid or braking or steering input. I mean, there's just no time to react at all because you're closing at 65, 65. It'd be like you driving 130, 140 miles an hour into a stone wall. You just don't have any time. Now you can see this is uh, northbound I-435. We're at 63rd, but you can see traffic backed up pretty far. It looks like people are being detoured off 63rd Street right now as they continue to investigate uh, this deadly accident. Again, killing a woman and a little girl uh, just about 8.30 this morning. Uh, one other thing to mention, there were reports, please say, uh, earlier in the morning, the same car was seen driving the wrong direction in another part of town. Uh, and that he actually hit a median. They're f trying to find out at this point if, in fact, that was the same driver that ended up killing this woman and this little girl. For now, we're live in Kansas City this morning. Sloan Heller, NBC Action News.